Oh, welcome, my friends. Welcome aboard. It's getting a little cooler. It's a great day. It's wonderful to be sharing this moment here on Earth. I'm going to tell you something today. Ray Spackman, he was asking me about the swing draw. And lately we've been doing a lot of uh, Howard Hill style and uh, uh, having a great deal of respect for Jerry Hill for having written that book and telling us how to shoot off. So anyhow, this is how to do the swing draw. And I call it the up from under, but this is the swing draw. And it works great. So if we put the arrow on the bow, what we have to do, let's just see here, we can adjust this a little bit. There we go. Now if we put the arrow on the bow, what we have to do is put tension on it, a little bit of tension. This will not work without tension. The bow has to be loaded, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do. So we put the weak eye onto the target, and we put some tension on the bow. And now we hold the bow down like this, you see? But the tension is on the bow. And what we're going to do is raise the arrow and the bow straight up, but not on the center of the target, straight up towards the magic spot. And if we have tension, it will go there. Now I'm going to show you, I'll show you again. So tension. Now watch this. Did you see how that went? As long as I've got tension on that bow, I can make that arrow go wherever I want. Okay, so I'm looking at the target. And it comes up from underneath, and it's right on. That's the swing draw. It comes up from underneath, and it's right on. But it has to have tension. No tension, it's not going to work. And if it does work, it's beautiful. It's very quick. It's very accurate. So that's one thing that we're going to do today. Okay? And again, we're going to keep on talking about pressing forward so that we initiate the release with the left hand. And this hand just plops here. Okay? Anyhow, that's what we're working on today. The swing draw. Now, we'll be back in a minute and do some shooting. Okay. Okay, now, guys. We're going to take a couple of shots down here. And we're going to demonstrate the swing draw. swing draw has to have tension on it. Tension. When you do the swing draw, The arrow is pointing down at your side. So you can see this. Down this way. It's pointing down this way. As we swing up, the draw hand comes right back here, just in front of the anchor. Not out here or down here. Very close to the anchor. And we just swing it on. The arrow and the bow hand come straight up not on the center of the target, but on the magic spot. So I'll demonstrate it again. I'll look at the target with the weak eye, get my, my feet uh, position open, and the arrow's pointing down. Now, as it comes up, because of tension, my back hand can pull it right on. Right on and right off to the right. You notice that? It's controlled by this hand pulling it on. The right hand it's pointing down. It's right on. As quick as that. You just bring this hand in here, and because of the tension, it will swing up. You know, the tension, it will swing up. Put tension on it, and it will work. 
And if you do that, then you know you'll get some hits on your on your target, eh? Okay. Okay. Back in a minute. Okay, guys. The swing draw. tension on it. Okay, guys, let's just swing this camera around here a little bit. Okay, when we're doing the swing draw, there has to be tension on the string, you know? We have to pull up on it a little bit. Also, I'm using my knuckle to aim, you know? There's a little spot right about here that I will just line up my arrow is on the right. This is something that, uh, uh, there's a guy, I think his name is Schultz, and he knew um, Howard Hill, and if you watch, he has four little movies, and one of them is saying, uh, and the knuckle he mentions in, in the third one or something. So they, they use the knuckle to, to line up. But uh, uh, the bow is down, the eye is on. When the tension is there, this hand will guide the bow. If the tension is there, it will just go up. And if you notice, it goes up and over and down, just like in Jerry's book. Watch, as I pull, it goes up and over and down. Okay, so uh, those are a couple of the things that I have to say today. I, the swing draw is great. It follows the line straight up and it goes on to the magic spot. We're using our weak eye. We've got our stance about open. The bow is right down. And as we draw, it comes up and it will pivot here. And it will just pivot and go up and over. And the big deal too is when it gets there, you want to have your hand lined up pretty much with your anchor you know when it goes up you want to have it lined up so on an angle so that when that arrow comes back it comes back to here not to here not not to here not the big round thing it comes back to your anchor that's where it's heading for so let it go there anyhow when you do that kind of stuff and you practice for three or four thousand years you start to hit the target once in a while <laughs> the swing draw back in a minute okay guys it's pretty dull oh, the camera looks bright but it's getting dull out here When we're drawing, it really is important to have that pressure. That's what—that's how it pivots, right? That's what makes it pivot, pressure. 
There's no point in just putting the, the arrow on and holding it there. It's going to move by the time you get it. You know, it just doesn't work, all this pre-aiming. But uh, if we hold the bow down, and we're using a straight line to lift it up on, and we put pressure on, when we draw back to around here so that that arrow is pointing at our anchor spot, it's going to line up. And I'm just going to have it above my, my knuckle. But it, that's what's going to happen, just like this. Now you can see that the arrow is over there, and that I'm looking right at the camera, which is what I'm aiming at. Okay? Put it down, look at the target, bring it up, and it will just pull in behind this hand. Okay? Can you see that? So it's down on an angle, the head, the eyes are on, I pull up, and the hand will just pull in there. I'll just pull in there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Guess you, you can see that pretty good, I would imagine, eh, Ray? Uh, so anyhow, somebody left a pumpkin there, so I did not shoot at the pumpkin because that all that does is, uh, there's our hits there, but all that does is mess up your arrows, make sludge all over your feathers. Every year people do that, but silliness. Anyhow, back in a minute. Okay, guys. A little pumpkin. <laughs> the swing draw. Yeah, the swing draw, it really does work very well. Again, when we look at the target, get our stance, when this arrow comes straight up, this, we're just heading for here, okay? So it, it's uh, maybe an oversimplification, but it's going to come straight up on the line and get right into your little anchor there. And uh, it all depends on the pressure. That's what makes it point. So if you want to do the swing draw like Howard, get some tension on it. It's not a pre-aim. You're not pre-aiming. You know, it's just pull it up and make it go on there. Anyhow, I've said it a bunch of times, and the sun is going down. And, you know, you'll get some hits. As it comes up, line up that right hand to your, your mouth, to your jaw. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, guys. Definitely, definitely losing our light. Well, I guess that's about it for today. Okay, now listen. Let's recap what we're doing. We're holding the bow 
an arrow down. And as we draw, we swing up, but it has to have tension on it. And as we swing up, we're going to bring our hand right up so that it's going to come right back towards our anchor. We can even do it and put it right on the anchor. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. Like, so we're looking like this, see? And I pulled it off because I'm sh showing you this, but it's easy to do. You just pull it up and it'll come right into your anchor. So that's the swing draw. It's very, very good. Again, the arrow will rise on that straight line, right up that straight line. And uh, you'll just get back to your anchor. And this is another thing that's really important uh, before I go. When I watched that last movie, I saw that when I did the short draw, that I had about that much of the arrow showing. But when I leaned into it, reached out and pulled, I only had about that much of my arrow showing. So every time we draw every inch, that bow will increase by about two pounds. So if I had an inch and a half, perhaps almost two inches, well, that means that I've lost two three or four pounds so I really suggest like Jerry said Howard did use a hunting stance lean into it a bit reach out and get back to your anchor it's more powerful it's going to give you a couple more pounds so that's what I would suggest anyhow been a lot of talking and only a little shooting so you know you'll get some hits that's what it's all about. Anyhow, you guys have fun. Life's short. <laughs> Isn't that right, Richard? Richard Head. Take care. Bye now.